Hello, welcome aboard. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up conversion tracking with Google Ads and Google Tag Manager. A conversion is basically any desired action you wish a user to take while on your website. That may be a contact form submission, a purchase, or a newsletter sign up, which is what, what we are going to use here for this example. Google Tag Manager is somewhat of a overwhelming thing to grasp if you haven't used it before. So we're going to use a very simple example just so you can understand the basics. And um, in this example, you should be able to use this process pretty much across the board for a lot of different conversion tracking parameters. So we're going to use the account here for Bookware. It's a site I've been working on the last couple of months. And uh, this is the, the site itself. They send out these sort of uh, recruiting giveaways or promotional products. Uh, their main target market is universities and educational institutes that want to recruit students. And they attend a lot of college fairs and things of that nature. So we want to track how many of these sort of college admissions counselors are signing up for their newsletter. So we're just going to track how many people are actually clicking that button to sign up for the newsletter and that button there is going to be our primary point of conversion. Again, a, a pretty simple example, but an example that you should be able to apply uh, for, for a lot of different uh, conversion tracking mechanisms or parameters per se. So going back to Google Ads, if we click under Tools and under Measurement here, you can click Conversions. Go ahead and click New Conversion here with the plus symbol. For this is uh, a website. Pretty straightforward there. Name your conversion. In this case, we'll just call it Newsletter. And under Category, we're going to just click Sign Up. Again, there is Purchase or Lead, depending on the nature of your conversion. For value, we're not going to have a particular value assigned, but again, using that e-commerce example, if you wanted to track the monetary value of a conversion, say dollar sale, uh, it's a little bit more in-depth of a, a setup process, but that is definitely an, an option and, and a good option if you're doing that type of tracking. Under account, we're just going to track the one sign up per user. Again, if a user were to shop around on a site and make several purchases or check out several times, then uh, every would, would make a little bit more sense. And down here we have some different um, settings. I think the attribution model is probably the most interesting. Uh, we're just going to use the last click model, but for your reference, position based is also a really good one that um, basically gives you credit to um, users who might click your ad several times, maybe they're shopping around and then finally they, they come back and, and make a purchase. It's going to give value to um, that whole user's journey. So position based is another one that I like to use, but uh, for simplicity, we'll just use last click. So we'll get that set up. Again, we're going to use Google Tag Manager to set this up and we're going to head over there right after this. So here we have our conversion ID and our conversion label. So these are our two uh, points of information that we're going to use to set this up in Google Tag Manager. So we're going to head over there. Uh, real quick, I, I do want to show you how to get Google Tag Manager installed. Uh, we do already have it installed, but you have these two tags that you need to place uh, in the head and this one down here in the body of the site. So because most sites do use WordPress, I'm just going to use this here, Bookware WordPress uh, website as the example. Uh, again, if you're using a different platform, you may need uh, the help of a developer or someone with a little bit more technical understanding. So under appearance, editor, going to get into the code a little bit, but it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, we, need, need, we need to find the uh, theme header right here. So this is the code that represents the header of the site. And there you'll see right at the top is our Google Tag Manager code right there. So that's that piece of code. Uh, as for the body, um, once you've updated that file down yonder, um, 
this this one might be a little bit more tricky to find depending on the site this site has been manually set up or sort of custom designed by a friend who custom designed this theme and um, this here is the we call it roadmap template and uh, right there after the body tag we have the other piece of tag manager script so once those theme files have been updated, we will have the basic Google Tag Manager uh, code installed and working. So once that's done, we actually get into some of the uh, nuts and bolts on, on how to do this. So first we're going to set up uh, our tag and uh, we're going to create a new tag for, for newsletter signups. Uh, right up here, first and foremost, just go ahead and, and name the tag. We're just going to call it uh, Google Ads. Uh, we'll just call it newsletters or newsletter. Okay, once we have that, uh, tag configuration. Uh, a very common one is, is using Google Analytics to configure the tag, but again, this is uh, Google Ads specifically, so we're going to use Google Ads conversion tracking. And there's that conversion ID and conversion label from Google Ads. So go ahead and copy and paste that information in each corresponding field. And then we'll just click save. Now we have to create a trigger for this tag. So we're going to add a trigger. Uh, up here in this plus symbol in the top right, we're going to create a new trigger. And uh, we can just call this again Google Ads Newsletter Trigger. Cool. And under the configuration of this trigger, we're just going to use a simple click model. So this is a configuration trigger that is uh, very applicable to a lot of different uh, ways of, of tracking a conversion. So we have our trigger set up. We're just going to leave it on all clicks right now. And we're going to come back to this to adjust to just some clicks based on on this uh, activity that we're looking to track. So just go, go ahead and click Save. And this is kind of a, the general framework set up here. So once you have that set up, just go ahead and, and save that, that tag. So here's our Google Ads newsletter tag that's set up. And um, next, we're going to actually go to this preview feature, which is pretty, pretty nifty. So go ahead and click that preview. And after you've done that, you can head over to the site in which we have installed the uh, Google Tag Manager script. And because we're in preview, preview mode, we have this cool little uh, window that shows up here. And um, this is going to enable us to sort of define that activity that we want to track as a conversion. So we're going to hop over to newsletter. Notice how when I click that, um, well, I guess we'll get there in a second, but um, there we can see as we're like clicking around, it's it's tracking these this different activity here. So um, we want to click here under variables, and if you hit uh, control or command to prevent this from actually taking you off the page. It'll, it'll open it up into a new window. So I'm going to hit control and click that. And under the most recent click, under variables, I guess that wasn't the most recent click. So we've got a lot of clicks going on here, but we can figure out which one was the, uh, the newsletter link. Yeah, this one was it. So this one was the uh, the click to that visitor dot r twenty dot constant contact, which is where users can actually uh, sign up. So again, it's a very loose example. Probably not the best form of conversion tracking, but again, it's it's all about the uh, the premise here and and understanding these different variables. So you can see we have a click class variable for button. Um, click element is going to be the one uh, that's most 
applicable to this exercise. So this here is the variable for the click element. So what we want to do is tell that trigger that we previously set up in Google Tag Manager to track um, any clicks that occur to that, to that element or to that link. So if we head back over to Google Tag Manager, and we're going to go down here to Variables. Now, I've already configured everything we needed to based on some previous work, but uh, just to show you the built-in variables here, uh, go down to clicks, and there you have that click element, click class, click ID. Uh, go ahead and click all of these, but we'll most likely just be using click element, click classes in this exercise, mostly just the click element. So once you've selected all those, they're going to appear right here, and you're good to go. So uh, we're going to go back to that trigger then, and we're going to kind of dial this in. So once we have that selected, go to some clicks. Now here's where we actually set uh, how this, this conversion is going to be tracked. So again, going back to our example here, we want to track users who, who click that button and in doing so using the click element as our, as our point of tracking. And we will just click, click element, contains, and we'll copy that in there. Now, this is a, a very long link, and uh, we may not need the entire thing. So uh, just opening up a text here, a text pad. Um, here we see the space here. That's not a good sign. It could cause some disruption. So we can just eliminate that last little bit. And um, this will still be a unique enough uh, click element for us to properly track this activity. So we're going to just use that portion and go ahead and click Save. So again, we have some clicks, but within the parameters of clicking that, uh, that link for, for that constant contact uh, newsletter sign up. So click Save. Good to go. Go ahead and just click Refresh. It's been refreshed. Okay, so now we want to refresh the site actually, so let's go ahead and do that. We can get rid of these other opening open windows. And now we can test and see if this uh, this uh, tra this tag rather has been properly uh, fired. So let's go ahead and just click that again and boom, there is our ads newsletter uh, tag has been fired on this page. So we know it's working and we can now track uh, newsletter signups here through Google Ads. So again, this might take a, a little bit of time. Usually we'll say it needs um, I don't know, a few hours before it can start tracking conversions. Uh, this account hasn't really been generating quite enough activity to the point of um, generating a lot of newsletter signups quite yet, but it's a, a point of conversion which we, we do want to track. Again, a very simple example, but um, with Google Tag Manager, uh, it, it makes it fairly simple. Again, there's you know a lot of different ways you can do this, but that exercise that we just went through will, will help you achieve that uh, hopefully a little bit easier. So that's conversion tracking in a nutshell. Again, we just kind of touched on this fairly briefly, but um, hopefully that's enough for you to get some type of conversion tracking installed on your project. And we'll see you in the next video where we actually go throughout the process of setting up a campaign and then later doing keyword research and building out some ad groups and doing some more, um, I suppose, right brain stuff. So thanks. We'll see you in the next video.